Okay, I'm gonna try something really different tonight. I don't have a recipe name for it. I'll think of a name by the time I'm done. But basically, what I've done is I've taken two pounds of chicken and cut it fajita style. And when I say fajita style, that's in small little strips like so. These are my pickled golden delicious apples. These have been pickled for, oh, about seven or eight months now, so those are all ready. So let's use uh, one, two, three, four, five, six garlic cloves. Then we're going to use a, oh, a big tablespoon of ginger, powdered ginger. And I guarantee you that's going to make me sneeze here pretty soon. Use one. Two, three, I better make four tablespoons of sugar. One, two, three tablespoons of sea salt. Let's just say uh, a teaspoon. The only reason I'm measuring this is if it's really good, I want to have some clue as to what I put in it. Some parsley flakes. There's not much flavor in these, so there's really not much use in even measuring them. I guess uh, a fair amount of olive oil, enough to liquefy it. So that's all blended up now. Slap. Slop. Slip. And pour the marinade in it. And when you're pressure cooking, it's better to overcook a little bit. There's my pressure cooker bowl. And this is where I need three hands. And there you have it. Looks um, something like tripe. Okay, we're moving up to PCH. That's the pressure cooker highway. Now when you use a pressure cooker, you have to make sure it is spotlessly clean every time. Otherwise you won't get a good seal and it won't pressure cook. You want to make sure that this is fully clean and that the contacting edges are fully clean. So you just take it, make sure it locks off, spread it, seat it, lock it, that's very important. Then you got to plug it in too, that, that generally is very useful. We'll put that on for 16 minutes and then start. This will not begin a countdown until this comes up to full operating pressure. Five to eight minutes to come up to pressure. Once it does, the 16 minutes will begin counting down. Once that's counted down, it's going to take five to eight minutes to cool down and depressurize. And then we can pop it open and have a look at what we have. And I'll see you in about 40 minutes. Okay, that's a wrap. I've named it now, after tasting it, it's called Sweet Chicky Quickie. That's my recipe name for it. It's an original by me. Note to myself, increase cooking time five minutes, decrease sugar just by a tad, and increase pepper and salt by a tad. Other than that, it's delicious. And there you have it. Mm, 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 mm. It is good. Nothing bad ever comes out of my kitchen.